what's going on? We're gonna do one particular harbor, uh, and this one's for Scott. And he asked me to try to keep it in open position. So uh, the live version that I transcribed from, you can see that he's doing bar chords, but uh, since Scott asked me for something, for one particular way to do this, that's what I'm gonna do. So it doesn't start in until about two minutes into it. And they're just playing E. Now the, uh, the verse, at I think 2.30, so we've got E, 2, 3, 4, D. E. D. Again, E. D. Now we're gonna do A, G, E, 2, 3, 4, then A, G, E, 2. My suggestion with this one, as I do with almost all the videos, is write this down. Don't think that you can just get every single chord with the form in time right away. So just write this down. Um, so the next part is the pre-chorus. It goes A. Now we're going to do a B chord, so you can take this A shape and slide it up and put your first finger down on the first string second fret to do the B. Or you can do a B bar chord, or you can do that kind of B bar chord. I do this, but that's just a personal preference. So you've got A for two beats, B, E, two, three, four. Repeat, A, B, E, two, three, four. Here's a little bit of a tricky part because it goes, it actually goes E, C sharp, B, A, two, B, four, E, two, three, four. So again, with that pre chorus, you've got the A. And what you can actually hear him do is go up to this, this E up here and then a D sharp, and then C sharp minor, and then B. And that all happens within a bar because it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you're not ready for that, don't sweat it. So you could do. Just stay on E if you kind of want to cheat that part but see if you can get it it's really it's a nice little walk down but you don't have to if you're, if you're not ready now the chorus which is my favorite part the chorus is just B uh, Back to B. got your reintro which is just B to E. Now he's doing a lot of like eighth note strummy kind of things. And I'm sorry, 16 note strummy thing, sorry. Because it's like one and a two and a one. actually 
stand to make your strumming a little bit more busy with this one. But if anything, just do chord arms. Three, four, and a, or you could throw that in there. Three, four, and a down. Kind of like your intro to 16th notes is you just put a little fill in at the end but take it at your level if all you can do is whole notes one two three four that's fine there's no worries about that at all so that's the entire song that's that no more new chords no more new form it just goes back to E for four bars like you're like a reintro basically um, and then you've got the verse and then what happens? The pre-chorus, but you're going to do the pre-chorus two times. So you're going to have the pre-chorus go around. So you go, A, take you to the Oh, I'm screwing your song up. Sorry. Here comes the cool walk down. A, B, E, E over D sharp, C sharp, B. Now you're going to repeat that whole thing. You didn't do that the first time around. So when you go to repeat, you do the E and then a quick B and repeat. Does that make sense? Then the chorus you do two times, then the reintro, and then you're going to do the chorus again. Make sure you get those hits because you're going to go. Uh, I would accept that. Okay, so just get that, open up your strumming in the chorus. So what was I doing? Down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Take that a little slower. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down. Oops. Down, up, down. Does that make sense? Lots of stuff happening, but I think you can get this one, Scott. Let me know if you have any questions. And also remember, in his version, He's doing bar chords, so if you want to change the, uh, the, uh, I'm gonna get my intonation checked. Ooh. Uh, you want to do the E and D here as bar chords, then you absolutely can. The chords are still the same. I just did it in, in open position because that's what you wanted. That's all. I'll see you later. <laughs>